Good job, it's your boy Dev. Please ain't. So the ASAP Rocky album came out last week. As y'all know, testing, was it last week? Yeah, last week or 10 days ago, same thing. And you know, it sold really well, but the thing I feel like throughout the culture, throughout hip hop, it wasn't really accepted. At least that's what I think, I'm giving my opinion. And I listened to the album when I did my review and I did my reaction the first time. And I, and I look, I liked it. I liked it for the first half. I thought the second half kind of slowed down. It, you know, it was kind of when Rocky started experimenting, you know, the testing, what he was trying to do. And I mean, overall, I didn't, the album wasn't really too bad off the first listen. You know, it was getting a lot of poor feedback. People were saying it was just different from Rocky. And I thought otherwise, man, I didn't, I didn't really go too harsh on it. Like other people were going on, you know, what I was reading. I'm like, how do you not like this? Uh, basically just sounds like Rocky over some trap beats. That's what I thought. So I said that I was gonna listen to it a couple more times. You know, sometimes in rap, you know, a couple projects, well, most projects uh, that you initially don't like, you kind of start to feel it, you understand it more, the more you listen. And there's just a lot of other factors you know, that, that make you love an album after multiple listens. But I kind of laughed, man. I, you know, I thought it was unfair, you know, kind of how they did Rocky. Just because Kanye makes, makes this seven album um, which it wasn't a rap album. Everybody was expecting a rap album. It wasn't a rap album. And Kanye makes this experimental, you know, Kanye-esque album, and everybody praises it, you know? Number one in 83 countries, you know, everybody's loving it. Obviously, Mr. West is, is who he is, and he's going to sell. But, you know, ASAP Rocky, you know, when he gets away from his dark Flocko personality, and you know try some electronic you know something that he was kind of like transitioning to in at long last asap and a lot of people didn't like that project at first either i know a lot of my friends really didn't love it you know not the rocky fans or the rocky stands but people that just you know like hip-hop in general they didn't like it and then after a multiple listens they're just like yo i see what asap rocky was doing i felt the vision i felt the vibe and I, that, that's the same thing i got from this album you know i listened to it more times in my car and the first half of the track bumped even more than when I first listened to it. Like, you know, tracks like, look, I got, I got, I, you know, y'all, you know, I can't remember. Y'all know how I be. I just don't remember and shit. But we got tracks like uh, Praise the Lord, Buckshots, Guns and Butter, Fire, man. Hey, definitely hype tracks that I love from him. I still don't like Tony Tone and Distorted Records. I know a lot of y'all said Tony Tone was your favorite track. It's still not ringing to me, man. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, maybe it's the production. Maybe it's just the way he's rapping. A lot of y'all said it was it was old Rocky feel, but to me it was like it was still eh. Call Drops is actually a really good track that I fuck with, man. Call Drops. I don't know what it is. Even Kodak Black. I, I like the idea that he gave Kodak Black um, a collect call from uh, whatever facility Kodak's at. And it was kind of cool, man, the way he was ad-libbing off of Kodak and, like, the vibes you get right at the beginning. I thought that was really cool. It's just a, um, a setting that you have to have when you listen to tracks like that. And same thing goes for Brother Man featuring French Montana. I didn't, I didn't expect French Montana on that jazzy beat. That's still one of my favorites. OG Beeper is another one. Uh, a lot of y'all, like, Black Tux White Collar. Look, I, don't, I, I already tell y'all, man, I, I say that uh, Playboy Cardi probably has top 10 production, you know, on his album. I just don't like the way he just, just does straight ad-libs and people say that that's some kind of art. I just don't agree with that. But his ad-libs did work on his black tux white collar. I do catch myself, you know, um, jamming. So y'all can have that W if y'all want it. You know, you Playboy Cardi stands, y'all can have that. I'll take the L on that because I was kind of mad when Playboy Cardi was on there at first. But I feel like, you know, just his ad-libs, just his, his subtle ad-libs kind of make the song a little bit. I will give y'all that. Uh, Purity with Frank Ocean and Lauren Hill. That's just gonna be a classic no matter what. And uh, um, I do I do stick with what I said before about the later half of the album, just kind of like, you know, declimaxing or whatever. Yes, I just said declimaxing. Um, you know, Kids Turned Out Fine, 143rd, 143rd. I didn't still like that. Changes, another one. I didn't like that. I think y'all said that was also um, Nostalgia Rocky for y'all. I just still, I feel like, look, the track, the album was 15 tracks. And to me, I think that most of it stood out to me. You know, there was eight to nine tracks that I loved on here. And then you got the tracks like Destroy the Records, Tony Tone, uh, you know, Changes, 143rd, and Kids Turned Out Fine, which is only five tracks on here that I didn't like. So, so to me personally, 
I think the album is, you just it just has to grow on you, yo. There's a lot of great albums that are coming out recently and in June. So I think everybody just expected Flocko to come a little bit harder or just give us that old school Rocky that, you know, we were all, you know, that we all grew up to and, you know, listened to in high school, middle school for some of y'all or in our early 20s, whichever category you're in in that. But I think as you listen to it a couple more times, you kind of appreciate what he's doing because it is a something different. And not, not look, different isn't always good. But, you know, when it comes to an artist like ASAP Rocky who has the influence like he does, I don't expect it to just be like, eh, you know, for so long. People are going to call it a classic sooner or later. It definitely gets um, some getting used to, but the hype tracks are there, you know, like it, the, the hype tracks are definitely there. The one with Juicy J, uh, the one with Shine. I just, I just don't understand how you cut. Who, how, <laughs> I just don't understand how you could not like those tracks. But to sit there and say that it is garbage, I don't completely agree with that. I wouldn't say that it is dumpster. It is nowhere near dumpster. I didn't heard dumpster, and this ASAP project isn't. I believe he's just trying to find his sound. He's trying to find something new. He's trying to be innovative. He's trying to be creative. And as an artist, we want to see our artists grow. So I don't fault ASAP Rocky for trying something new, but I do say that anytime you try to go out your element or you know try to explore, you gotta accept that you're gonna be critiqued hard if it's not good. It's like a high risk, low reward type thing because I mean, it could suck and it, can, it could affect you really bad. You know, people could start hating you or it could be something different and people are just like, wow, you're a genius. So I applaud Rocky for you know being brave and trying something new. At the end of the day, you should love what you do and respect your own craft and respect your own art. And I think that's what ASAP Rocky did. So look, man, I'm gonna love the project. I'm not gonna give it no score. After multiple listens, it's great. It's a great album. It's a vibe. Uh, you know, it has party bangers, has something that you could just chill to. I think there's just something on this album for everybody. And I think people just wanted, you know, straight fire tracks one through 15. And, you know, like, you're just not gonna get that, especially if you don't dabble into other genres of music. You know, you're just not gonna love some of this shit. So, I'm oh, gonna keep it like that, man. Let me know how y'all feel about the project after multiple listens. And um, thank y'all for supporting, like always. Hey, shout out to Travis Scott. Astro World is coming soon. Got that merch, shout out to Merch Wave. And until the next time, it's been your boy Dev. We are out.